give thanks and praise to the mystic, yeah, the unknown, yeah, laws of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature. Guide our thoughts and our thoughts in all ways that we are lawful. Yeah. Positive. <coughs> we do give thanks and praise. Salute. Three people. I'm going to remake this video to share the information. I'm going to share this information a few hours ago on YouTube. I'm going to get about eight views as I show the video up. Probably an hour or two ago. YouTube removed the video. So I'm going to violate some guidelines. So, because this information is so potent, so powerful, so proper, yeah, so correct, I bring it forward so you won't be able to censor the truth. Yeah, man, the truth is this. We are who we say we are, yeah, not what you want us to be. That's it. Anyway, it was at the British Nationality Act, 1948. Chapter 56, Part 2, Citizenship of the United Kingdoms and Colony Kingdom and Colonies. Citizenship by birth or descent. And within the British Nationality Act, 1948, Number four is a citizenship by birth. And it's a subject to this provisions of this section. Every person born within the United Kingdom and colonies after the commencement of this act shall be a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies by birth. That's it. Now let's say provided that a person shall not be a citizen or not be such a citizen by virtue of this section if at the time of his birth his father's his father possess such immunity from suit and legal process just like how I should be immune from them legal process and them so so when them are push all we can do is bring information to shine light on the situation because if you're in darkness you can't see so now we bring this information to you know what I mean highlight the facts eh? all when you censor us the information of the always live so you know Legal process as in accordance to an envoy of a foreign sovereign power accredited to His Majesty and is not a citizen of the United Kingdom and Colonies. B. His father is an enemy alien and the birth occurs in a place than under, than under occupation by the enemy. So this doesn't apply. Basic thing is by birth. Once, you know, you exist. After the commencement of this act, you shall be a citizen of the United Kingdom. It's key points. So I'm kind of up straight. I'm kind of might sound a bit sluggish. But you may have some more read of this video since I decided to take it down. Let me redo the video and place the information again out there. 
and see what I'm going to say. Provisors A and B do not apply making the people of the United Kingdom and colonies to include Jamaica, West Indians, and naturally British citizens in 1948 by no fault of ours, or by default. Number five says citizenship by descent. So subject to this provision, subject to the provisions of this section of person born after the commencement of this act shall be a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies by descent. If his father is a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies at the time of the birth. So, we go from 1655, our location was invaded by the British. And the British occupy the location and still maintain that occupation by way of a Governor General's office as, as head of state. These things are true. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a provided that if the father of such a person is a citizen of the United Kingdom and colony by descent only. That person shall not be a citizen of the United Kingdom and colony by virtue of this section unless that person is born or his father is born, unless his father is born or that person is born in a protectorate or a protected state, mandated territory or trust territory. And Jamaica fall within trust territory mandated territory because it's a Jamaica constitution order. Order mean, you know, mandatory sanction. Well, the sanction part of when them say, if you do this, you shall be fined for that. Or we will penalize you for these things. And all of those things are just the agency policies. So we like to say clarity, yeah, clarity. And this is the information where the demonic forces out there would like to censor. But it's public information. You understand how we do a highlight this public information. And whether you like it or not, we are bring it forward. Yeah, man. So, right there, it shows that uh, we can claim citizenship by descent of our ancestors. We can claim citizenship by birth. Uh, I'm on, again, of a 1989 passport where clearly demonstrate dual citizenship. And I'll present it within this presentation. Yeah. Now, I want to clarify. I don't want to go too fast. So let me read this section again. It's a provided that if the father of such a person is a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies by descent only, that person shall not be a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies by virtue of this section unless a that person is born or his father was born in a protectorate, a protected state, a mandated territory or trust territory or any place in a foreign country where treaty, capitulation, grant, usage, sufferance, or other lawful means. His Majesty then has or had jurisdiction over British subjects. 
So since 1655, the British occupied our location, invade our location, and occupy our location. And that occupation is still extant, again, by way of our Governor General's office, which represent the head of state, foreign crown. And again, we have to take it slow. So right there we approved by the 1948 British Nationality Act. So we are British subject, or we are Commonwealth citizen, or we are citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies. All of these phrases are synonymous. Now we'll go to the Jamaica Independence Act, where provisions for fully responsible status of Jamaica. And it said, as from the 6th day of August, 1962, in this act referred to as the appointed day, at the time it was Her Majesty's government of the United Kingdom shall have no responsibility for the government of Jamaica. So right here, for the government of Jamaica, which is a agency created by the very British Parliament as a dependency. And we can prove that when we look at the Jamaica Constitution in brackets, order in council. And what is an order? An order is like a decree or an edict or a sanction. And the very document, the very document states clearly that this is a statutory instrument. And we define what an agency is. Looking at my description, you see. Now, Jamaica Independence Act 1962. With this provision, it does say, Her Majesty have no responsibility for the government of Jamaica. It further goes on to say, No act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom passed on or after the appointed day shall extend or be deemed extend to Jamaica as part of the laws era and as from that day the provisions of the first schedule to this act shall have effect with respect to the legislative powers of Jamaica. So again Jamaica get independence, so called. We say it's an appending state because we can't say the freedom of expression and the self governance where it should demonstrate so we're free. Now, we say the government of Jamaica, the creation of an agency created by statute, i.e., Jamaica Constitution Order in Council 1962 which is in fact the involuntary servitude by sanction without the consent of the West Indian people of the American island of Zamayaka, now called Jamaica, by the foreign colonizers. By the creation of the government of Jamaica agency, the natural status of dual citizenship came into existence. One, a citizen, of the United Kingdom and colonies by birth or descent, and two, a citizen of Jamaica, an agency created by statute in 1962. So, I won't tell myself which part of this document or what I'm reading or expressing is false when the evidence is out there, right there in front of us. We're looking at it, we're living it. It just seems a way when it's on paper 
for your colonizers. British Nationality Act, 1981. Now remember, you have a 1948 British Nationality Act that gave us, gave, gave us all kind of rights to move freely and, you know, do what we choose to do. But Winston Churchill, by way of his discrimination against the West Indian people. Create all kind of rules and regulation to remove us from our lawful status. However, the 1948 changes that were made was amended with this 1981 documentation. So I think the 1948 British Nationality Act gave us the power to move and do our own. And then up until about 1965, between 48 and 65, Winston Churchill changed a lot of things. Now with this amendment, the British Nationality Act, 1981, 24, so renunciation and, and resumption. It's a subject to section 31, 33, and 36 of the Illegal Migration Act 2023. It's just created. It's just come forward. Illegal Migration Act 2023. It is a restriction of eligibility for citizenship, etc. So you say the mafia create all kind of, you know, clause to make sure, say, you who them want to keep subjugated as a blind slave, never be able to cipher what is written on their legal papers. So it's uh, this provision, the provision of section 12 and 13 of the 1948 Act shall apply in relation to British overseas territory citizens, British overseas territory citizenship, as they apply in relation to British citizens and British citizenship. So it's one and the same. But when you have a Give us a, a common agency like the government of Jamaica. Then the card of function for, as a corporation for profit and gain. Then I'm going to try, for lack of a better word, keep the people um, illiterate, naive, and dumb. That way, it can enslave the people in paper, literally. Because you have dual citizenship, which is apparent, however, it's not promoted, because it's not profiting. And because for specifically a man like me will renounce my Jamaican citizenship and retain that citizen of the UK and colonies, the United Kingdom and colonies, then that put me outside of the jurisdiction, the common governmental agency known as the government of Jamaica. It's that simple. Clarity. Honorable clarification. Yeah, man. So it's a 25. 
meaning of British overseas territory citizens by descent. For the purpose of this act, a British overseas territory citizen is such a citizen by descent if and only if he is subject to subsection 2. He is a person born outside the British overseas territories before commencement who became a British overseas territory citizen at commencement and immediately before commencement I was a citizen of the United Kingdom and commit my virtue of section 5 of the 1948 Act Citizenship by Descent who was a person who under any provision of the British Nationality Act 1948 to 1965 was deemed for the purpose of the proviso to section 5.1 of the 1948 Act to be a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies by descent only, or would have been so, would have been so deemed if male. Charity is a man. Remember, I'm in a corporate conflict of prostitution, so I'm going to be with a man, and we've got to live in soul using this vessel as man. 26 a citizen of the united kingdom and colonies who are to become british overseas citizens at commencement now is there any person who was a citizen of the united kingdom and colonies immediately before the consummate the commencement and who does not at commencement become either a british citizen or a british overseas territory citizen shall at commencement, become a British overseas citizen. So once this act, British Nationality Amendment Act, 1981, once it commenced, then we attain back to dual citizenship, and I prove it with my, I'll prove it with this document I will share. This is a document. This is a front page of my 1989 Jamaican passport. And on the bottom here is clearly showing citizen of Jamaica and Commonwealth citizen. Dual citizenship. So we're now talk out of the side of it. Yeah, man, this is true. We are highlight. But again, we will have dark forces out there that will take this here, the truth, the light. Yeah, man. So they'll try to censor you in any way, shape, or form. However, just like light dispel darkness, yeah, the truth, yeah, they dispel any fallacy, lies, or fallacious narrative that is out there. So we use truth as our foundation, truth as our anchor, according to us. Once we can look at the information that is presented, then we should be able to apply the trivia method to whatever information we're looking at. You know what I mean? We can choose to remove whatever contradictions from it, whatever information in order to gain comprehension. And from that comprehension is application and we are moved wisely. So this is the old passport that I had, 1989, expired 1999. And when I returned, or when I was on the mainland, I never had the information yet, knowing that 
I am the original man. I am the first nation, first people. We don't call Awak Indian. Babylon colonizers will say Arawak. But usually when we have way, the personal stuff, Babylon can't know it. So then we have to make up with them all. So we say Awak. Yeah, not just Arawak. And that is our society, that is our claim. I can't tell we say we now have a right inherently to decide our own destiny. And now may I share an image of my current passport. It's a new fanciness with them bring forward. However, when I fill out the renewal application, I Add information. At the time, I think it was line F, but right after 2021, when I upgrade my passport, they changed the Jamaica passport application form. But there is still provision there for you place. You know, your renunciation information. Upon that form, you just have to know. That's all it is if you are, you know, clueless about the information, then you, you won't find your interest. And this is our sign right here, which should be a dead giveaway. Linton hyphen O'Neill, comma. With the dollars. So you see a comma there within the initial that should tell you genius is out there. Something. But again, most of our people are unlearned. They don't, they don't mind purporting themselves as others, but they're far removed. Far removed from such. So when you see this logo right here, that is right under the left image on this passport here, you have to realize so it's the very same logo here on this document. And this document is called the Jamaica Nationality Regulations 1961, Regulation 10. So that's where you'll find this form. And this form has nothing to do with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This form has everything to do with what the British them are dealing with. Understand? Yes, I remember. The British is the one that gave the people here a constitutional order. All of that happened over there in Britain, Buckingham Palace over there in their parliament, making Jamaica, irrespective of what everyone wants to say, a dependency to the foreign crown. So when I say I renounce it, my Jamaican citizenship, I do not need a permission from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which is an agency within the government of Jamaica, agency. Yeah, all it is would say it's just a department in the agency. Hence, we now have to deal with you. All we're supposed to do is process the paperwork as public trustees out there. That's it. We don't need to ask you people permission for absolutely nothing at all. No capacity at all. No agent. No man or woman acting in the capacity as agent. When we present documents, you file documents. That's it. Yeah, man. That is it. You know, try to tell me, I do this, I do that, I don't do this, I don't do this, I 
of Father Yo with you people's poor. When you read this thing, it's a declaration of renunciation of citizenship under Section 7 of the Act made by a citizen of Jamaica who is also a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies mentioned in the first schedule to this Act or of the Republic of Ireland or a national of a foreign country. And this is where I fill out the application, which is a very simple application. They, re they are requiring a justice of the peace seal, so we place a justice of the peace on a document. And this is an image, this is how I renounce it. Down here to show you the countries so mentioned are United Kingdom and colonies and all the other countries. So I highlight this and when I did my passport application, this is what I put in the location. This information that's all is necessary. And when I do that, naturally, I'm not just a Jamaican citizen anymore. You would say, hey, is a Commonwealth citizen or a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies, or he's just a Jamaican national, meaning you know, common rules and regulation which are legal standing, Geyser's law, do not apply to this man, do not apply to the House of Dallas, do not apply to the our Indian nation as a society. Yeah, we are just outside of whatever it is you people are imposing. Yeah, man. And right here, yeah, I say, you know, the stamp duty seal, you know, as they would say, duly sign and seal, duly sign and seal. Making this a certificate of fact. You understand? Yeah, man. So we have a public record number, which is public law. We can verify and validate this information. So this is what we share out here. Share this information earlier. Very same information, but probably, a, you know, a clap it upon them. You understand? Calling them the children of Lot. So right now, I know I'm not call no specific name. So I want to say, we are YouTube, I say I'm going to violate any imaginary, fictitious guidelines. Yeah, man, fire burn. I want to be money. Actions and activities out there, you dark forces, they are born. They are born. Most people have them Jamaica passport, but none of them are endorsed this way. They have to have knowledge for do this. Right here, may have a cancer, a DC, United States Wanderer stamp, which represents one. Four ounce of gold, solid gold. This is what give my document value. You understand? So them kind of thing are yeah, esoteric information where you don't need permission from a foreign minister. Here, what kind of foreign minister? We are nobody's slave. People can choose to be, but we are nobody. See? We were not born as slaves. And when we say British subject, it goes straight across the Americas. Don't feel like I am a bit in a North American, me Indian, and me. <clears throat> and just check the information that is out there. 
I gotta say so the very Congress go right back to the British Crown. The very Congress that is in place. I don't know why I said these people are foreign to us. However, as a British you know, a subject or a commonwealth citizen, people have problem with citizen here and there. I mean, I have them problem with. You understand? Uh, if a lot of the Indians want to sit out there and go on with themselves, they don't have any real validity then. The foreign people and were coming and conquer their land wouldn't have no cow. They wouldn't have a foreign congress or governor over them. So I'm going to give, you know, credence to too much of the information I'm going to see out there. You understand? We just chose to do our own thing and bring our information accordingly. You know? And try to bring clarity. Yeah, man. Honor the clarification. Yeah, man. Show and prove, man. We are demonstrate, man. But, you know, the dark force is out there. The synagogue of Satan out there. We'll have issues with truth. We'll always have issues with divine light. Which is right. So again, we give thanks. And hopefully that information, yeah, kind of tone it down from the very first original one. I'll eventually find a platform to share those content where, you know, YouTube algorithm will choose to remove and not give me no kind of strike or nothing. Them just I want to remove my content. You know what I mean? All when we're not monetized. This is why we're not doing a business out here. None at all. When we share information, people will appreciate the information. We locate, we and say, yeah, we'll see a strength at the office. We love them work at all. Can benefit them. And learn something from you and learn this from you. And if we can pay all different kind of Googles, millions of dollars, then if you send a strength to your office, Support you and strengthen you. Them thing are free will exercise. We do not have our hands out. But you won't be able to call me and talk to me without your pay me. It's simple as that. Me personally, I have no interest to talk to people about these things. You know what I mean? Unless I want, you know, place whatever may I require. Inside of my non interest there in a farm. And then, then we have access to talk to me about anything. And that is only fear. And so people have said they must sell service and they want payment for service. When you pay them, you know, get the service and you never get your money back. Or, you know, it's all kind of story. And we tell them, they have no more time for going online for put money in a bank account. People will tell them. People will tell you, oh, there is no refund. They're not telling these things up front. And when you talk to them, them dumb like a rat, but no, no, nothing at all. Is you alone at all? You alone are sharing information. So people have to be mindful out there. And because I have first hand knowledge of these scammers out there, of these, in, you know, these situations, then I can talk on it. What I'm not going to do is try to expose nobody. Understand because everybody need room to correct themselves. And you can't grab say yeah, yeah, everything is going on and great for you. And it seems like you're scared. This is why I'm not telling nobody to pay me for this or that. When you want to talk to me about my personal knowledge when you keep, which is my intellectual property, then you know, they compensate me. Yeah, no, no different from these high-end gurus where I send them children to colleges and universities for putting themselves in the free sharing information from here to Timbuktu. Yet, 
they not present it this way so we can get parodied, you know. So yeah, man, that is an Asian saying. Yeah, man, them people is anti people. These people are not with us. They're not doing that. They are in bed like agents with the foreign colonizers, with the foreign oppressors, with the foreign invaders, with foreign enslavers. A lot of these people are in bed with these people. Yeah. So, you know, we just chose to approach it our own way according to our due diligence research and comprehension. And again, because we are neophyte here, we are beginners here, you know, we are the student here, totally and completely receptive to learning. Then, when truth come, we, we make the correction, you know what I mean? We make the amendment or we'll move forward. But no more will we remain in the darkness, you know, acting ignorant. You know what I mean? Because now we know that is a choice. It's not a state of being or a state of condition. To be dumb is a choice. To be ignorant is a choice. Yeah, man. So one can choose to apply themselves. One can choose not to. Free will out there. For a bond in this judgment. For a bond. On them. Out there. Run them. Out there. Sun them. For a bond. Let truth reign, though the heavens may fall. Let truth reign. Lap it up out there. Burn out them. Filthy.